What's up guys, welcome to episode two of Do It Yourself Custom Wide Body Carbon Fiber Flares. We'll go with that. Uh, we're gonna be turning this into what resembles a flare that actually fits the tires and the wheels, which are 17 by 12s, and I think the 315s, but what's on here right now is a stock 930 with fender, or uh, yeah, fender, fender flare. However, that's not wide enough for our application, so we've added this construction foam, and now we need to shape this before we can make a mold for our carbon fiber. So I'm gonna get into cutting this up with a bread knife, and we'll see how that goes. Okay, so that cardboard that's in there is up against the wheel, so that's how I know the basic amount that I need to cut off. I don't know, I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna take the bread knife and, and get cutting, because there's a lot here, and I really can't mess it up if I take my time, so I'm just gonna start doing it. Okay, so what I'm basically trying to do is just to get the shape right. Um, shape a little bit off at a time. Stuff's a lot like styrofoam. And uh, after, you know, it doesn't need to be quite perfect. It doesn't need to be, it's, it's gonna be a little bit smaller than um, the final form because we still have to lay in body filler and all sorts of stuff and uh, sand it all to like one even kind of thing. So it's chipping a little bit off at a time and uh, try not to mess it up so we don't have to buy more cans of this stuff and then wait another 24 hours. All right, so what I've started doing now because I've cut the bulk away with the knife is to take the sander and that'll give me uh, a little bit more control over how much material is removed. At this point, it's just like any other standard body, body work, but at the end of the day, I don't really have much besides the stock filler to follow. So, I don't know. If I mess it up, I guess I can spray more foam. So as you can see, I've been sanding for like probably an hour and a half. I've got it pretty good. Not looking too funnily yet. Um, coming right to the edge of the tire. It's got a nice lip forming. Obviously it's gonna be evened out a little bit. Um, still too wide in the front. So we'll bring this in. But it is I'm not better than I thought it was going to. <laughs> I didn't really have too much faith in my abilities, but I can I can see it now. I can see the light. So I'm gonna keep sanding a little bit, and then we'll move on to Bondo and uh, that kind of stuff. Okay, so it looks like we've added about two and a half inches to this. So, you know, maybe not quite three inches wider than a stock flare, but it's exactly how much we need it. And I guess at this point, um, we're just gonna do a little bit of edge refining and then the rest we can do when the bondo goes on, which isn't over here, but it's over there. And a uh, tub of goo. Tub of goo, yeah. So we're gonna goo it up today, but do a little bit more sanding on this first. Okay, so we got it pretty much perfect. Anything that's not perfect will be taken care of. The next step is everyone's least favorite step. Tons and tons and tons of bondo. It looks like a, looks like frosting. It's like you're making a cake. Oh man, a really disgusting cake. A wide body portion cake. Man, that's cool. That's what I want for my birthday this year. Did you guys spend $1,100 on a custom wide body Porsche cake? 
Have you like looked into pricing on these? Just well, I, I just think that it's eleven hundred dollars. That's how much I would charge for a RWB cake. <laughs> So this is like any other bodywork thing, uh, just building up a nice layer of fondo, <laughs> and then we'll sand it smooth, and then we'll primer it, and we'll uh, spray it so it's glossy, so we can see any imperfections, and then we'll lay some fiberglass, and that'll make a mold, and then on the inside of the fiberglass, or the outside, whatever, goes the carbon fiber, and then that goes in a vacuum bag, and resin gets pulled through the vacuum, and out pops a nice RSR flare, right? Yeah, much more confident in this now that uh, we know that our foam was good enough. Oh! He's so stinky. <laughs> this one up right here we're gonna put some more bondo on it and uh, come back tomorrow do some more sanding but you guys get the idea we're getting it as good as we can on the car we'll take it off get all the imperfections out of it and then the next episode we'll be making a mold out of fiberglass fuck yeah all right guys we're wrapping it up like I just said in the clip right before this so we're jumping to Devin picking a winner for this video's giveaway we give away stuff from boostedshades.com every single video that's also the best way to support us check out boostedshades.com <laughs> All right, this video's winner is Kapil Patel. All right, hit us up at Team Boosted at BoostedShades.com via email or through any of our social media platforms. We'll get back to you, ship you a prize. If you guys want to win, all you got to do is like, subscribe, leave a comment. We ask you guys things at the end of the video sometime to make it easier. This video's question. All right, this video's question is, do you think we're ruining this car? I know some of you do, so drop it in the comments. Oh, wait till we take a reciprocating saw or sawzall or what does Naki San use? I think he uses like one of those. He uses like a little body saw. It's like a little air saw. I'm just gonna get a little pneumatic saw. Just, that's gonna be when this becomes hard to watch, but it's gonna be so fun to film. Yeah, it is. I'm pumped to do that. But like always, guys, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.